Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a uh, crazy, crazy update for you guys. So, I woke up today pretty late and uh, I checked my YouTube comments and uh, a few of you guys recognized two of the Canadian girls in my last video, Ladies Apply to Carmen episode four. First time here. My first time here, yeah. Oh. What about you? No, it's not. You live here? Um, no, I don't. I'm from Canada. They were in the news apparently, and they were assaulted by uh, a man here in Playa del Carmen. Now, I'm gonna give you guys the background, and then I'm gonna pull into some of these news articles just to read so I get all the facts correct. But essentially, they were out at a club, um, and a boxer from Canada who boxes here in Mexico made some moves on them, tried to throw his game, and uh, they rejected him. And so his response was to assault both girls. He punched them both in the face. And uh, uh, Jamie, the girl in the bikini that I interviewed, uh, she got a broken bone. She has some eye damage, one of her eyes. I mean, the, the photos are pretty horrific. I'll include them in the video here. So just warning, it is a little graphic. Um, but I just, I, I can't imagine, I mean, you guys remember my live stream just last week we were talking about, I was talking about how to deal with rejection. And I, and I was telling you guys like, the best way to deal with rejection is take it like a champ because if you get rejected and you're just like, hey, totally cool, I understand, talk to you in a few years or see you later, you have a chance, maybe in the future, right? This is the exact opposite approach. I mean, this guy not only ruined his chances with these two ladies, but now, this story's gone viral. He's been forced to take down his Instagram account. All of his YouTube videos that he's in have just been dominated by negative comments, rightfully so, by the way. And so this guy just not only ruined his life, but he probably ruined his career. And the real victims here are not him. I don't have any pity for this guy. Uh, I think that he needs to be held to the full justice of the law here in Mexico. Um, I honestly wish it happened in the US because I think that he probably would have had a harsher penalty in the United States or even probably Canada. I'm not really sure about the laws down here. Um, but the real victims are Jamie and her friend Genevieve. Uh, my heart goes out to those two ladies. The last thing you want to happen is go on vacation and be assaulted when you're just trying to have a good time. And you guys saw in my video when I, when I interviewed them, they were just here to have a good time and just get away and enjoy and relax. And unfortunately, uh, their trip took a, uh, took a turn because of this scumbag. I mean, it, it is what it is, he is a scumbag and to make matters worse, uh, this guy is a professional boxer. So, you know, first to be very clear, no one should assault anybody. I don't care about what gender you are. No one should assault anybody. The only time it's acceptable is self-defense, in my opinion, or you're protecting someone else if they're in grave danger, in my opinion. Uh, but especially to hit a woman. And then especially if you're a professional boxer. I mean, look, let's just be honest. The way I throw a punch is much different than the way a professional boxer throws a punch. You know, if I were to punch somebody in the face, it's probably gonna cause minimal damage unless I get lucky. But a professional boxer just throwing a light punch with all of his training and his technique and he knows how to maximize the force, and he knows exactly, yo, and to do this to two girls, like, because they rejected you? Bro, what's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you if you watch this? And by the way, I am gonna put this on YouTube when I'm out of jail, and I am gonna tag it so that his, this will show up when someone searches for his name. But like, what's wrong with you, bro? You need, in my opinion, um, not only a uh, significant jail sentence, you need to never box again professionally in your life, and you need, to see, you need to see therapist. Look, we all make mistakes, I get it. But when your mistake could have potentially killed someone because you're walking around with two weapons, which is your fists, Come on, my guy. You need to, uh, you got to see a therapist. You got to see a, an anger management counselor once you're, fr once you're a free man again, if you are. Because that is, that is unacceptable, man. And I don't even know how you could apologize to those girls, except you had to make sure you never do it again. And I'm going to guess, and again, this is my assumption. I'm going to guess that alcohol was probably part of the situation. It sounds like they were at, at a club. Um, he was probably drinking, I'm going to guess. I don't know for a fact, 
but man, you really got to reconsider drinking in the future if that's the way you're going to behave. If alcohol was a factor, I don't think that you and alcohol should be friends anymore, man. I think that you and, you and alcohol need to take a break or permanently break up. I would actually say permanently break up because to slip up that badly is, is inexcusable. So, all right, I'm going to read this article, guys, from globalnews.ca. A woman who had been stalked in Vancouver is brutally attacked in Mexico. Uh, warning, some details of the story may be disturbing to some readers. A Vancouver woman is facing extensive surgery in Mexico after being attacked. Jamie Coots was on vacation with a friend in Playa del Carmen when a man assaulted them at a bar Saturday night. Police in Mexico said they have arrested Peter Nowick Zek, who was a professional boxer from Ontario. So this is a Canadian boxer assaulting Canadian women here in Mexico. On social media, Coots' friend posted that the man had been coming on to them at the Coyote Lounge Bar and wouldn't take no for an answer. He then turned around as if to walk away, but then turned back, ran at her full speed and punched her until she was unconscious, according to another friend, Saturn Rose, who was in Vancouver. She's obviously in so much pain, Rose said, after talking to Cots, Coots Tuesday morning. She's really said she's not doing well. She said Coots' nose is broken in three places and she's struggling to breathe. She also has a chipped tooth and a severely injured eye. Her friend, who was also punched, needed stitches to her head. Coots is currently in a hotel in Mexico and has to regularly go to the hospital to, for tests and checkups. Rose said she has, hasn't come home until she has surgery and they won't know when that will happen. The doctor said roughly six days to four weeks. So this is a, it's a bit of a recovery. A GoFundMe has been set up to help Coots with funds as she did not have travel insurance. So from my understanding, some people have been calling her out for not having travel insurance. I'll be honest, most people don't travel travel insurance. They just don't get it. It's something that you often overlook. And a big reason why I think in my opinion is when you come to Mexico or Thailand or Vietnam or you come to these developing countries, medical care is so cheap that a lot of times your logic is if anything were to happen, I can pay out of pocket. And that is true. Uh, however, she does have a GoFundMe, so I'll put a link in the description. If you guys do want to support her, uh, you can support to the GoFundMe directly. Uh, I will say it looks like they already hit their goal of 20,000 uh, Canadian dollars, so congratulations to, uh, to Jamie. I know you'd rather not have this happen at all, but the fact is it looks like the community did step up and support you. Um, if you guys do want to donate any more to her funds, I'll put a link in the, in the GoFundMe. I'm sure, you know, in this kind of situation, having a little extra money won't be the worst thing in the world. Um, and what's also crazy is uh, Jamie, w early this year in March, if you guys Google her name, you'll see that she was stalked in Vancouver by a man who followed her for 40 minutes. So Jamie has been in the news before. She was stalked by a man. To have this happen to the same girl within the same year, that's, that's just a shitty stroke of luck. Um, again, none of this is her fault. Men should not treat women this way. No one should treat anybody this way, right? Let's get gender out of it. No human should treat human this way. But in this case, uh, men should not do this. Men should not stalk women on the street. Men should not follow women for 40 minutes in Vancouver. Men should especially learn how to take rejection, which is what we spoke about in my live stream. And I want to reinforce that. Again, I don't mean to make light of the situation, but as I said in my live stream, one way to get over rejection, guys, is to get rejected a lot because eventually you become numb to it. And you also learn how to not get rejected in the future. This guy here clearly has never been equipped with the resources or knowledge or the wherewithal to, 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 to handle rejection. And uh, he needs anger management counseling, he needs to be in jail, and he needs to serve a long sentence for what he did to this girl. So Jamie, Genevieve, if you guys watch this video, um, I'm happy I got to meet you in my video. Thank you to my audience for updating me on the story. But I am so sorry this happened to you. This is unacceptable, and uh, hopefully we can raise a few bucks for you guys through your GoFundMe on my channel. Um, and if you do see this, please reach out to me. If, if you guys are up for it, I would love to talk to you further, uh, share your story, make it go even more viral if we can, because I'd like to hear from you guys exactly what happened that night and um, you know, really draw attention to this. And maybe we could even partner with a, um, an organization and raise funds for maybe like a domestic violence or violence against women type of organization because I think that'd be really, um, turn, that'd be a silver lining, turning a negative into a positive in my opinion. Anyway, that's the update guys. This will be live on YouTube in five days, which is gonna be a little later than I'd like, but again, I'm in YouTube jail right now. Uh, so this is a Rumble exclusive for now. As always guys, let's go Brandon and be free, my sheeple.